So this is the standard forehand topspin that we're taught. When we first play table tennis, you've got to learn how to spin the ball properly, right? But keep in mind that this is a forehand topspin against an, a practice partner or an opponent who's blocking back at me low with good speed. So this is one forehand topspin and it's not going to work against every different type of ball. The reason you guys struggle with high balls, especially when you serve an opponent puts the ball up high or they semi lob to you, you guys struggle with this because you try to incorporate the exact same forehand topspin in a ball that's very different. So you need to be able to forehand topspin in many different ways and variations. So have a look here when I, I'm really copying the mistake that you guys make here. If I serve an opponent pushes up and I use the exact same forehand topspin that worked before, now it doesn't work anymore. So we need to get around and over this ball. And that's exactly how you're gonna loop against high balls and put it away. The trick is opponents can push with heavy backspin, but even if they don't, you have gotta get enough spin to bring it down. So again, just to recap, this works against an opponent that's giving you a low ball that's already pretty fast, but it won't work against high balls. And this is why you guys are struggling with this. So this is example one. You serve, you put it up high, and then as in, this is one of the two most common mistakes. You'll put it, opponent will push it up, and then you'll try and loop it as if it's a, as if it's a fastball, not understanding that you've got to do something different here, right? So you serve, opponent puts it up, and you miss it off the end because you just don't go over the ball enough. Against the previous block that was fast, you didn't need to go completely over the ball, but now you do. The second most common mistake is this. You panic, you step in way too early without fully launching it, and you flat hit the ball. One, because you launch in too early, you don't understand how to wait and wind up for the shot and use your whole body to launch yourself, then hit it. You step in early um, and then you flat hit it because you also don't know how to straighten your arm all the way back and fully wrap around. This clip is gonna show you how to do that. And Here is how you put away the high balls with your forehand topspin. A lot of you have asked, Hemi, how do I put away the high balls? I really struggle to put the high balls away because they're weird and they're dodgy. I feel like I should put them away. And yes, you have to put them away because they are opportunities, but you also have to respect this ball because they're ugly and they're not easy. So here you see me doing it after I serve. Uh, the kid that I'm coaching puts it up. As I, t you'll see, first step is I get my right hips all the way back and I get my arm all straightened and all the way back too. Now, even though my arm is straight and I go full circle, the trick here is to only use brush, you do it using my wrist and my fingers. They're the thing that dominates the shot. Right, the moment I use my bicep, the moment I use my shoulder, the moment I use my elbow, it's gonna stuff up. I'm gonna flat hit it. Also, if you don't, if you skip any steps of the full circle that you see me doing here, you're gonna flat hit it. So one, you've got to use only you. You got to dominate the shot with your wrists and fingers, uh, as far as the arms concerned, and you also got to completely go over the ball and not skip any parts of what I call rainbow. Imagine this is a ball. Right, here's 12 o'clock at the top, six o'clock at the bottom, three o'clock at the on the side, you want to brush all the way from three o'clock, all the way to two, to one, to 12, all the way around back to nine. You can't skip any of the steps. So that's to ensure that you fully brush the ball and you fully bring it down. Right, you guys haven't learned this variation of how to adapt. That's why you can't do this. So stay tuned on YouTube. I'm gonna post the full version of how to do it uh, with a full breakdown. But I hope this little sneak peek, I hope this little quick tip gives you guys what you need when you go back out there and you can put the high balls away. And if you do, just as an appreciation to help keep this uh, channel flooded with good videos and value like this, share your share your success story with me. Um, DM me, post it on your story or on a post. Um, that would be greatly appreciated. So yeah, stay tuned. Uh, if, you don't, if you don't follow my YouTube already or subscribe there, do it because I will post a full version over the next couple of days. So guys, I hope that clears up exactly how you deal with high balls and why you guys have been struggling and really failing with this ball. So I hope this really solves the problem for good. And if not, leave comments in the description, leave uh, in the comments below, and I'll be sure to clarify anything that you're not sure about.